Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Okpayemi Oweshini, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed May 8, 2024, for hearing on the suit challenging the emergence of the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress in Edo State, Mondi Okwebulu. The suit was filed by one of the aspirants who participated in the primary election, Anna Meru Dekiri. Dekiri is urging the court to overturn the declaration of Okwebulu as the party's governorship candidate in the election. Vice President Kashim Shetima has reiterated the commitment of President Bola Ahmed Tenumbu towards boosting Nigeria's infrastructural needs. Speaking at his residence in Waijugui, Bono State, where he hosted members of the Bono Elders Forum, members of the All Progressive Congress, and other stakeholders to the breaking of fast, the Vice President said the President has his eyes on the basic needs and requirements of the nation. He called for continued support for the Tenumbu led administration by all Nigerians as he assured them that the government's policies will be immensely beneficial to all and sundry in no distant time. The Kano High Court will, on April 17, 2024, arraign the immediate past governor of Kano State, Abdullah Ganduje, on charges bordering on allegations of bribery, diversion, and misappropriation of funds, including the purported acceptance of $413,000 and $1.38 billion in bribes. The Kano State government, which initiated the criminal shoot against the eight respondent, has declared its readiness to present 15 witnesses to testify before Justice Usman Nasaba of the State High Court No. 4. And in Lagos State, the Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Olumide Oluyinka, has said only properties with planning approvals will be compensated for demolition in the construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. He disclosed this at the Association of Real Estate Agents and Nigerian Summit held in Lagos on Tuesday with the theme Building and Enjoying Partnership for a Future. Oluyinka disclosed that the owners of these properties have been informed and the next stage is the compensation stage. On business, the African Development Bank said it has secured $110,000 in funding for Ekiti State to facilitate the development of the state electricity priority plan. The Ekiti State Commissioner for Infrastructure and Public Utilities, Bolaji Aluko, who made this known in Adoeke to stated that the funds were secured from the Sustainable Energy Fund for Africa. Aluko explained that the funding approval secured through the Africa Energy Sector Technical Assistance Program would sponsor three delegates from the state to participate in the IB training course on past sector regulation at the African School of Regulation, in addition to calls on transfer services. And the United States has transferred to Ukraine thousands of infantry weapons and more than 500,000 rounds of ammunition that were seized more than a year ago as they have been shipped by Iran to EUT forces in Yemen. The U.S. military said the transfer was made on April 4th. The latest military assistance that U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has provided to Kyiv following Russia's full-scale invasion. And on sports, Ghana Sports Ministry has held talks with the governing body of the Commonwealth Games, the Commonwealth Guild Federation, over the possibility of hosting the 2026 Games. According to Sports Minister Mustafa Youssef, the preliminary discussions, discussions rather, has been positive. The 2026 game is currently without a host city after Malaysia rejected the GGF's offer, which included 100 million euros in supporting funds. And that's it on the news you at this moment. Any thanks for joining us. I'm Okwayemi Owoshini. Bye for now.